Welcome to this video. In this video I want to talk about the 10 most important ABAP reports about SAP authorizations and about SAP security in general. Here to execute these kind of reports you can open up the transaction SA38 that you can reach the ABA program execution or of course if you have authorizations you can execute them in the ABA editor so SE38 or within the object navigator SE80. So here right now we would like to execute the first report. Um, it's a report to call the user information system. Um, you can also execute and reach this transaction if you enter the transaction code as you I am within the command field and basically honestly in my opinion this is one of the most important reports or transactions within whole SAP security topic or area because here you have a lot of functionalities and within here we will see a couple of reports later on but basically here you have the ability to search uh, for for some users, for example, by logon date and password change with critical authorizations. This is really important. You can search for specific roles, profiles, authorizations, authorization objects, and so on. I highly recommend that you get a detailed look into this uh, report or transaction because this is really useful and important based on SAP security. Then if we're going back into the program execution, then we have this report. So if we execute this, then here you have the ability to search for single roles with authorization data. So basically, yeah, you can uh, do a wildcard search, whatever you like to. You can uh, um, select different selection criteria. You can set up specific authorization objects to see if, for example, one authorization object is currently in use uh, or is currently um, yeah, in use in one role. Really, really great ABAP report. Then we have this ABAP program and with this ABAP program you can check the passwords of standard users in all clients. So first of all when an SAP system is set up that uh, is being made by the standard uh, users and of course with standard passwords. And with this report, this I think is one of the you know, first activities you should do after setting up an SAP system. You should check if these passwords, these standard passwords are still in use because if they are, you should imme immediately change these uh, or at least you should um, yeah, um, set these kind of SAP users to inactive that they can't uh, no longer be used. Um, yeah, this is really an important transaction. Then right now we will have, don't have any any report right now but we have a transaction but because this is in my opinion really important i would like to highlight this it's this it's the system trace for authorization checks so basically uh, with the authorization trace or system trace, you can explicitly trace for authorization objects. So you basically yeah, um, type in any use and then you trace what the user is, is doing, what kind of authorizations uh, are checked. And this is really important, for example, if you would like to check uh, what kind of authorizations are currently being used, what maybe are missing, should you maybe change your authorization concept and so on. So um, yeah, if you really would like to know what is currently happening in the system, then you can use the system trace. Then we go again to the ABAP program execution. So then we have another report. And within this report, uh, yeah, you have exactly the same in the user information system, but here basically you can compare to objects. So basically you can compare to users, you can compare to roles, profiles, authorizations and yeah, across different systems. Um, so basically within here uh, if we would like to check the two of them and then you can execute this then you get a nice overview of yeah basically what is different what what is same because here we have a lot of yeah green 
icons, green traffic lights because I copied the user. Uh, but basically, yeah, it's it's also really nice in case you want to compare because some user says uh, he or she has authorization and uh, or hasn't, and the other user has, and they're working in the same area. This is a really nice transaction. Then we have this ABAP report uh, again, one report available in the SAP or in the user information system. But here, basically, you can, yeah check uh, for users with critical authorizations. Uh, so here basically you can set up different variants, uh, variants consisting of different authorization objects, what you like, what you prefer. You have one proposal um, yeah, containing a lot of important critical authorizations, but basically here you can yeah, um, select this variant, you can uh, select your user, then you can search uh, for, for critical authorizations and then you should get immediately rid of them. Really important and nice report. Here we have another report. And when we execute this, then you can scan ABAP report sources. So basically why this is important, because within here, you can check for your code, for example, for an authorization check, so an authority check. Uh, basically, you can also do not a, not a program, but a transaction. You can also use the code scanner to do this. Here, basically, you can add authority check uh, enter your package and then check if the authority check is being used within the code, especially if you are in your custom namespace or in the set. Um, then you should be really aware of authorization checks because if they are not used, then of course uh, nothing is checked against authorizations. And then we have this ABAP program, and this is really important to compress uh, the users for roles. So basically, if there is one already expired role, or if there are yeah, duplicate roles, duplicate entries, then you can get rid of them with executing this report. Again, really useful and should definitely be within a toolbox of an SAP security topic. Then we have this important ABAP program. And within here, um, yeah, uh, you should be aware, first of all, as mentioned here, to read this SAP note first before starting the report because there you have a lot of possibilities. Uh, but basically, what does this report does? Uh, do so first of all. It, yeah, it's it's repairing automatically um, the authorization default values with errors. So basically, being done in the transaction SU24. So here you can set up some selection criteria. I really recommend to run this first in test mode um, to see what the outcome might be or what the outcome is and then run it in productive uh, yeah but basically really great and important transaction or report then last but not least we have 10th report and when we execute this then here basically you will get a list of all users logged on currently um, yeah this is for investigation purposes also uh, helpful um, if you would like to know yeah, what's what's happening uh, what kind of users are currently logged on um, yeah that's also a really important and nice transaction or report. So now I've shown you 10 really important ABAP programs. Uh, there are a lot more, I am sure. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.